Hi everybody. Uh, happy Friday, I guess. We are um, going to be filming today from my house because I was tired of being at the health hub by myself. So, um, and this is going to be a shorter workout. You can repeat this particular workout as many times as you want. Um, the circuit itself is only about 10 and a half minutes long and it's a balance and core strength uh, workout and <clears throat> I'm using a BOSU ball because I was I got a request um, someone had that piece of equipment at home and wanted to do some ankle strengthening and core if you don't have a BOSU ball, that is absolutely fine. It's not necessary. You can do all of these things on the floor. In fact, if you aren't comfortable with your balance, I recommend that you do not use any kind of ball. Um, if you have a balance disc, you could try that with some of these moves. Um, but mostly just stay on the floor. I'm doing this without shoes, but you can definitely wear your shoes. That's optional too. And uh, we'll just, so the timing for this one, it's going to be 30 seconds of the exercise and 10, 15 seconds of rest. <clears throat> yeah. So that is approximately, like I said, about 10 and a half minutes for this particular workout. And you can repeat as many times as you want. So here we go. Going to get started. The first thing that we're going to do is... Shifting balance. So, and I'm going to go ahead and just talk about the different movements and how to make this work. So, with shifting balance, we're just going to stand on the ball, knees slightly bent, and all I want you to do is just sort of shift your body around, trying not to fall off the ball. Sorry, I live on a farm. So you might hear some weird animals in the background. So you're shifting around side to side, front and back, making sure that you're not just shifting your hips. There's a rest there. <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is come back on the ball and we're going to pedal our knees. So I want you to come into a little bit of a knee bend stance here. Still shifting that weight. Straighten one leg and bend the other. You can lift your heel. Trying to keep the hips steady, just moving through those ankles, getting some flexion and extension <clears throat> through the feet. And rest. The next thing we're going to do is march in place on the ball. The Bosu. So come back up. And this is going to be a slow march. If you don't feel comfortable, just keep one foot on the ground or on the floor on the ball as you march in place. If you want that extra challenge when you go through this again, you can actually spend a little bit more time on each leg. The next thing we're going to do, and I'm going to turn this way so you can see what I'm doing, is a reverse tap or <coughs> a reverse lunge. All you're going to do is stand on the ball, find that balance, step back, and switch feet. So when you have bare feet, your feet really do a lot more work here to grip that ball, which is a good thing, but you also want to make sure that you're letting your ankle wobble at the same time to try to strengthen those muscles around your ankle. So we're going to do that again, but this time we're going to come to the side. <clears throat> So it's just a tap and tap. 
I'm going to stay on this side. You can add a little abductor extension there if you want reflection. And then switch sides. My wonky leg, I can tell. All right, the next exercise we're going to step up onto the ball. One option is just step up and off. The next option, which is what's on my list, is you're gonna step up with a knee lift. So you're finding that balance. Oops. <laughs> finding that balance. Bring the knee up, set it down, and switch. Take some getting used to, obviously. Woo. during my rest and take it off and the next one we're going to do a lateral step up and over if you want to add a little cardio here you can do a hop in the middle of this or just step up and over strength so I'm gonna flip this Bosu over and I'm gonna do a slow burpee <clears throat> so I'm gonna step out you can add a push up here if you want step back in keeping those knees bent reach the ball up toward the ceiling come back down If you want a higher impact version of this, you can always hop your feet out and then hop up with the ball. Rest. Flip that back over and we're gonna do rock the boat. Having a seat on the BOSU, finding the balance right on your tailbone Knees come out and in. Oof. Next, we have a side plank on the right so coming down to all four is perfect option for the side plank one knee is down here you're just engaging your core muscles especially in that side option two coming up into that full side plank to dump into your shoulder extending long switch sides
missing is a Spider-Man plank, so I'm going to flip this back over. The wobbly side will make it harder to stabilize. Extending into that plank, pulling one knee up at a time out to my outside of my elbow. Our last exercise is a bridge lift. So you're going to lie on your back with your heels on the ball, pushing your shoulders into the floor, lifting your hips. You can either just hold it here or slowly lower up and down, keeping your lower abdominals engaged as you press up. Keeping them engaged as you lower down. And rest. So that's the workout. Again, you can go through that as many times as you want. Obviously, your balance might be better than mine. You can definitely move on to the floor at any point in time. Hopefully you don't get attacked by hummingbirds like I did, and have fun, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to meet Marie for a bar class tomorrow. Yay!